Well, now that I just filmed my intro and have to film it all over again, time to put these back on. Let's go. Hello. So today I decided to show y'all my Harry Potter collection. So let's get started. So I got my Luna glasses, I got a Harry Potter sweatshirt on, and I got all my copies of Harry Potter. So I don't know if you're seeing this, we're just gonna take those off. I don't know if you're seeing this before or after my Percy Jackson collection, but if you're seeing it before, spoiler, you're gonna get a Percy Jackson collection soon too. But yes, I collect foreign editions of Harry Potter. It was belonged with other editions of primarily the Sorcerer's Stone, so slash Philosopher's Stone. So yeah, I decided to share with y'all my entire collection of the books that I have. This is one of my favorite series. It's pretty much my second favorite considering Percy Jackson's my first. It is one of my most reread re series ever, primarily the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my favorite book. But yeah, let's just get started. First thing I have is my complete collection, and that is this collection right here. I'm doing an awful job at showing it. This is the collection where the spines make up Hogwarts. So this is the only set that I have completely full. It's the only additions actually I think of Goblet of Fire and the Deathly Hollows that I have. Everything else I have at least one other edition of. First we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, my all-time favorite, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, another one of my all-time favorites, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and then Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. So like I said, those are the collector's edition, collector's edition that make up the view of Hogwarts on the spine. Next, going in just the basic order, we have my copy of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Yes, I still own my copy. I know a lot of people have unhauled it. I don't think I'm going to. First of all, I just noticed that the dust jacket is on that backwards, if that shows you how much I enjoy this book. Have mixed opinions. I do want to see the live show. I feel like that'll change a lot of my opinions of what I read. But yeah, controversial book. Yes, I still have it. That's all I really got to say about it. We have... The illustrated editions. I have only three. I do not have the illustrated edition of Goblet of Fire. I typically get an illustrated edition for Christmas or my birthday. We got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated. Then we have my favorite book in the entire series with my favorite cover so far, the illustrated editions, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm obsessed with this cover. First of all, it's the darkest cover in this entire like release so far. Goblet of Fire goes back to being a lighter gray background, but this one's dark and purple. Purple is my favorite color. I love it. Oh my god, I'm so excited to read this cover. I just got this for Christmas and it's so beautiful. Anyways, moving on before all I talk about is Prisoner of Azkaban. Next, I'm going to move on to my copies of Harry Potter that are not the Sorcerer's Stone, just because Sorcerer's Stone I have a lot of. So let's just get started and go backwards. So the next one I have is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and this one I got from Amsterdam and this one is not in English, it is in Dutch. I studied abroad in the Netherlands, however I got this when my mother first went. I don't know any Dutch except how to say thank you and even then I still question myself. This one's a nice one, it's such a different cover from the rest of them and I think that's primarily why I enjoy it. The next we have a copy of The Order of the Phoenix and this one has no really like special thing. I got it at Powell's Bookstore which is an organ which is pretty much the specialness around it. It's also the first covers, I believe these are the first edition UK covers and yeah it has Order of the Phoenix, it has Fox on there and yeah, I just like this edition and I'm excited to read this version of it. Like I said, I don't have any copies of the Deathly Hollows or Goblet of Fire other than the ones in the box set. So moving on, we have my editions of Prisoner of Azkaban. So in addition to the two I've already shown you, I have three other versions of the Prisoner of Azkaban. This next one is one that is also from Amsterdam that my mother got me. Again, it's in Dutch, but I love the cover for this. Sorry for the glare on the lettering. It's just so nice. I love that it's brick and it's so small and different than any other edition I have. And I think that's really nice because it's my favorite book and I absolutely love it. But yeah, there's this one. Next for foreign editions, we have one that I just recently bought and that is this edition of the Prisoner of Azkaban. It is the same as the box set cover. However, it is a hardcover edition of it. And it is also not in English, it is in Czech because I got this when I went to Prague over this last semester. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this cover so much. And yeah, I'm really excited to look at it and admire it while not reading it because I don't read Czech. Next, I got one that I can read because 
why not? And this one, I believe I got, yep, this one I got in London when I went recently. It is the Ravenclaw edition of Prisoner of Azkaban. I only have two house editions, this one and then the one copy that I will show you later. But yeah, I got my favorite book in the Ravenclaw edition because I am a Ravenclaw. It has, it is the paperback, so it has the sprayed edges and it's all blue. And yeah, I'm excited to read this version of it in my reread. Next we have my editions of the Chamber of Secrets. I only have one foreign edition. It is in English and that and it's the UK cover and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this one my mother gifted to me after she went to Iceland. But like I said it is in English but it has a different cover so it goes with my other editions that match the UK covers. And then I just have two of the original US paperback covers of the Chamber of Secrets. I don't know why I have two editions but yeah i have two of these there in my collection if i want to lend them out or anything Alrighty, and last but not least we have my collection of sorcerer's slash philosopher's stone these aren't in any particular order some of them i just got because they're different covers some of them there are foreign editions so we're just gonna take from the top and work our way down the first one i have is this edition of harry potter and the philosopher's stone i got this one at powell's bookstore along with that edition of the order of the phoenix i had never seen this edition for this cover i'm gonna cover my face real quick so it can focus but yeah i've never seen this edition it has the hogwarts express and it's really nice and it's it's super tiny but yeah this was just another one that i thought was nice to have in my collection next we have the original u.s paperback edition of sorcerer's stone so you will see a lot of differing sorcerers philosophers primarily i think i have philosopher's stone but yeah this is just the u.s original next we have the uk 20 year anniversary edition that i got while in canada so it is the Can canadian uk edition so it says philosopher's stone and i absolutely love these covers so much and i want to have the whole set in those editions. Next we have the new cover of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I believe this is the 20th anniversary edition or some type 25th but it's the one where if you put all the covers together they make a mural. But yeah I just have the first one. I got this one recently and I, yeah it's just a really pretty edition of it. Now getting into some foreign editions. The first one I have is a Korean version that my mom also gifted me on one of her trips. I can't read this at all because it's in Korean but it's super nice. It's super interesting. You can't see it but it's all in Korean and it has the UK cover, which I love. Next, we have this edition, which is, I think this one's from Iceland. I'm not quite sure. I didn't write it down on the inside cover because I'm awful, but it's this edition. It has the same cover as the box set that makes up. Hogwarts on the spine it is in a different language. I can't tell you what language because I cannot read it. But yeah, very interesting and I really enjoy it. And I like having it. Into the final stretch. So one of the most unique covers I ever saw for Harry Potter was when I went to Italy a little while ago. And this is their copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And I think it's amazing. So it has a rat on it. It has Harry dressed in a rat costume and they're playing chess. I don't understand why. I just love it. It looks like such a cute little children's book and it's just so cool. It's in Italian. I can't read it, but this cover I knew. Oh, hello receipts. But I just, I knew I needed this one when I saw the cover and it was just, it's so different from anything else that I've ever seen and it's so cool. So yeah, this one's probably one of my favorites that I have just because of how different it is. Next, we have another 20th anniversary edition, and that is the hardcover, and it says Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This one, did I get anywhere? I don't know if I got it from a different country. I'm assuming so, but I'm not quite sure which one, but yes, this one's really cool. Again, it is in English, so I can read it, but yeah, I love the cover for this one a lot. It's a sketch of the Hogwarts Express and a lot. It was another unique cover to add to my collection. The last one I believe that is in English is this. It's the 20th anniversary Ravenclaw edition of the Philosopher's Stone. This is the hardcover so it has the scarf stripes on the back. I just absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm a Ravenclaw and I wanted to have the Phil Oh, it actually says Philosopher's Stone. I forgot that this edition did that because I believe I got this one in Canada as well. But yeah. This one's super nice and I'm excited to have it. All right, finally down to the last three Harry Potter editions that I have. Again, it's the Philosopher's Stone. This one I got as a gift from my mother when she went to Denmark. It has the UK cover. It is in a language I cannot speak, but I enjoy having it. It is a hard cover of the UK, which is a bit different than the rest. Moving on, this one is the Swedish edition 
it is harry potter and the philosopher's stone this one is huge it is tall massive it also has back black splayed edges which is super awesome i wish i could read it because i love this edition and how like floppy it is most harry potter books aren't floppy but this one is i just love the covers the covers for the swedish editions are so interesting and then last but not least is an amazing one that i absolutely loved that i found and it is the german edition of harry potter and the philosopher's stone and it is this cover i love it i've seen these around i don't know where you can get them i haven't seen them in any of my bookstores back home but yeah i found it in germany and it has images of harry hermione and ron and it's just so lovely like even the back cover the spine is beautiful like it's just an awesome edition it is in german i can't read it love that i have this edition it's such a different and beautiful one to have so yeah that was all of my harry potter editions and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i enjoyed making this and until next time i'll see y'all later bye